A few tips I want to give you when it comes to managing your tables and or other objects, the least of which is when you delete a table, well, you can just go ahead and right click on it and go down to delete, or you can have it selected and hit the delete key on the keyboard and say yes, and it's gone. Now, if you want to keep your tables, but you don't want to see them, you can hide them. So if I want to hide the orders table, right click on it, and you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either hide it in this group or go to the table properties and check hidden. Click OK. OK, it's not hidden, but it has the attribute assigned to it. So to actually hide those that are meant to be hidden, we need to come up here and right click on the title bar for the navigation pane, or you can find a blank area down below and right click to get the navigation options. But let's come up here and right click to go to navigation options in case if you don't have any extra space down below. And we want to go ahead and uncheck show hidden objects because we don't want to see those objects that are supposed to be hidden. When I click OK, watch the order table disappear. It's gone. Now to go ahead and bring it back, we need to undo that. Again, right click on the title bar, navigation options. We want to show it, click OK. It's back and it's in working order. You can double click on it and view the contents therein. Let me close out. But to bring it back to life from going into the next life completely, let's go ahead and right click on it, go to table properties and uncheck hidden, click OK, and now it's solid and not faded. Now you can do that or right click on it and say you want to hide in this group. And then of course set the properties for the navigation pane to not show those hidden objects. And then when you bring it back, right click to unhide in the group. So it's either one or the other. You can do those options, hide it or unhide, or table properties to, to hide it. Let's go ahead and unhide. You can also hide an entire group of objects like our, well, let's do tables. Right click on the title for the tables and say you want to hide it. And then they're all faded. So then we have to set the properties for the navigation pane to not show those hidden objects, but we've already done that. So let's go ahead and right click on the title here to unhide. Or if you just want to show only the queries, of course, you can click on these little collapsible arrows here to collapse them all. But let me expand it to quickly only see the queries. You can right click on the title for the group there, queries, and say that you want to show only queries. And it pulls it up. Nice. And then to bring it back, you can, well, right click in a blank area and say that you want to show all groups. Or if I right click again and say that I want to show only queries. Of course, you have the drop down arrow that you can click on and say that you just, well, maybe you just want to see tables. There's tables. Click on it and say that you want to see all again. Now, if you want to add a little bit more detail or a description about like maybe the orders table, like let's say I got it from somebody else, so I haven't verified if everything's accurate, you can right click on it, go down to table properties again. And aside from hiding it, you can type in the description and say, I got this from Gomer Pyle's database and then click OK. And of course, if you want to see the description, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either go ahead and right click, of course, and go back to read it as well as typing in additional information. Or you can change the view for the objects here by, well, let's right click on the title bar and go down to view by. And instead of list, how about if we do details? And there we go. We get the details when it was created, modified, but also we got our description. I got this from Gomer Pyle. Well, it's cut off because the navigation pane is only so wide. So let's go ahead and hover over the split bar between the navigation pane and the working area until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then click and drag it out. Hey, I can see a lot more, can I? Well, I don't want to see all that. We'll leave it as such. So that way we can go ahead and view the description, the details. The other view that you got, let's right click on the title bar, view by, you can do it just by icon instead of by list. And, ooh, that's nice. I like bigger icons. I'm more of a GUI type of guy, graphic user interface, but then you do need the uh, title for the tables. But let's go back to the way it was, right click, view by, and list. And then finally, if you want to go ahead and rename an object like query books, you can right click on it and just go down to rename. Call it query bookies. Well, in any case, when you're done, hit enter, it accepts it, but I'll right click and rename it and go back to the way it was. And hit enter. But keep in mind is that 
if you do rename like a table and this query is based upon that table, um, like if I took out the letter S and just had customer, the query is not going to find it. So when you double click and it's like, uh, I don't know what you're looking for, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and redesign your query so it points to the rename table and be able to pull in the information from it. And we'll go over that a little bit more in a later training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.